Hi everyone, my name is Steph. This is Little Bookish Teacher and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have some reviews of new release children's titles that are coming out today from Ellen and Unwin. So thank you very much to the publisher for sending these to me. I'm really excited to share them with you because there are a couple of books in here that are very eagerly awaited follow-ups or companion books in series that I have been reading. So we're going to jump straight into it. I'm going to start off with the picture books first, beginning with These Little Feet by Hayley Rules Thorne and Brian e. Stewart. This is a gorgeous picture book for very young children and new families. It is a book about the hopes and dreams that parents have for their newborns and their babies who are just beginning to literally find their feet. And it is a gorgeous little celebration of new life and of the endless possibilities that are available to kids. And it's told in such a gorgeous way with really beautiful illustrations. It's about the ups and downs of life and it is just stunning. And I do love that these end papers feature not only a place to say who the book belongs to, but a place to do some little baby feet stamping in there as well, which makes this then a treasured keepsake as well. So really loved this and I'll be passing this one on to my sister with my niece. I've already told her about it because we've been talking about handprints and footprints and things like that. So that's going to be perfect. And then the next book in a series of picture books that I have been reading for a really long time because I love how quirky they are is Mr. Chicken Goes to Mars by Lee Hobbs. So Mr. Chicken is a character who's been around for a while. He likes to go traveling to places. So he's been to Paris, he's been to Australia and any number of other places. The one place he hasn't been to is Mars. So he's decided that that's where he's going to go. And so he enlists some help in building a rocket and then he sets off on his new adventure. And along the way, he gets to see some new sites in space. He gets to meet the Martians on Mars. He has a grand old time learning about his new friends and their culture and their food. And then of course, at the end of the day, he gets to come home. I think the lovely message about here is that sometimes you can go on adventures and it's okay to then come home at the end of it and, and celebrate and enjoy what you have, which is really, really nice. These books are fairly text heavy, so be aware of that. They are longer texts to read, but they are really fun. They're quirky, they're funny and highly enjoyable. And Lee Hobbs is just one of those Australian author illustrators who I have been reading his books for years and years and I always enjoy them. The next book is actually a non-fiction title and it is the A to Z of Who I Could Be, 26 Athletes That Every Little Kid and Big Adult Should Know. And this is an alphabet book of inspirational female athletes and it is incredible. I'm not a big sports person so I don't tend to follow sports. So I learned about a lot of new athletes that I was not familiar with. The way that it is laid out, you have a really gorgeous illustrated portrait of the athlete in their chosen sport, their name, as well as just a very brief paragraph on them and their success in their field. And I just think that that's incredible. I think it would be a great addition to any library or classroom, as well as just any personal collection, particularly if you have kids who are interested in sport. Chloe Dalton is the founder of the Female Athlete Project, which was a project to raise the profile of female athletes in sport. It is a really really powerful little book and I was so glad that I requested it to review because I don't tend to gravitate towards sporty things but I thought this one was going to be really important and it is. There is also the third book in the Smarty Pup series by Ando. This one is to the rescue and it is a bit of a crossover with Ando's Weirdo series if you have read those. In this one Lily and JJ are participating in a school science project fair. So JJ is a dog who has developed the ability to talk after an incident in the first book and so he goes to school with Lily and her friends and is a, is part of the class. And so together they're coming up with their projects. Lily, I think, is making a volcano and JJ is determined to make some kind of helicopter flying device for himself. And throughout the course of the day, there is a fire at a local building and JJ and Lily offer to help. And JJ's device ends up being crucial in rescuing a family of dogs from the burning building. This is a junior fiction story. It does feature simple text on each page as well as full color illustrations and the really cool lenticular cover. And it's just a wonderful little series that I've been enjoying reading all of the installments in. I love that this one has a bit of a stem bent in it and that we have a crossover with the other book series and it was a great read. And then finally, we come to a middle grade title and this is the sequel to A Girl Called Corpse from last year. And that is The Lonely Lighthouse of Elston Fright by Reese Carter. This is a middle grade paranormal fantasy series. We have three characters in this book. We have Flip, who is the son of lighthouse keepers, and he is an orphan and he is living with his grandmother. And in the first book, he befriended Corpse 
and girl who are two ghosts who live on the island of Elston Fright. In the first book, Corpse was being kept captive by a group of witches. And in this book, we sort of see what the witches are willing to do in order to try and get control of Corpse again. The town of Elston Fright is attacked by poltergeists who are poltergeists made of wind and who are in many ways sort of the middle grade friendly version of the Four Horsemen. It's up to Flip, Corpse and Girl to try and figure out what's going on to find out how the town has defeated the poltergusts in the past because this is not the first time that they have appeared and how to do that with limited magic supplies because a lot of what they were using has been lost to them at the start of the book. It was fun, it was fast paced, it was engaging. I'm really enjoying the world that Reese Carter has built up. I loved A Girl Called Corpse and I really enjoyed reading this one as well and seeing how the friendship has developed and at the very end of this book we get a few hints about where the direction of the series is going so I'm really excited to see what book three is about. So thank you again to Alan and Unwin for sending me these books for review. I had a really wonderful time reading them. As I said I think there's some great books coming Coming out this month and these are just some of them. I will leave links to everything down below so if you want to find out more information you can. If you've read any of these or if you're planning on picking them up feel free to have a chat to me about them down below or if you just want to let me know that you're here but you don't want to leave a comment feel free to leave a ghost emoji in the comments. I hope that wherever you are in the world you're staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.